Frankie Abrazino with the Scoop News. And I came across an interesting article basically talking about how many arrests were made at your child's school. And it looks at statistical information for, from the Juvenile Department of Juvenile Justice from 2014 to 2015. So it's about a year old. And it looks at the number of arrests throughout the different areas. I'm going to focus primarily on ours, on Sarasota County. And I'm going to take you to the... Uh, the interactive map, if you will. So hold on one second. Let me flip us over to there and boom. Now this is an interactive map. Uh, let me get to actually this one. Okay. And it covers basically the trends, the counties, what the number of arrests, everything. Let me try to make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better. And if you see it down here, Sarasota, there's a population of 22,670 students, 114 arrests, or 5.0 arrests per 1,000. Um, you can go through and sort this, and I'm going to put the link up top of this video so that you can go and examine the information for yourself. It breaks it down even further if you go over to the schools and you come down here and we tap on Sarasota. And, and I found it a little interesting. Like For felonies, it looks like Riverview High School has some thugs here. <laughs> A lot of felonies, 10 felonies, 16 misdemeanors for a total of 26. Northport, three felonies, 24 misdemeanors. Right here at Venice High School, there were two felony arrests, four misdemeanors. Um, some of the surprising stuff was what goes on at the middle schools. Um, look at this, Venice Middle School, one felony. Pineview, for the gifted, one felony. So I just thought it was interesting, and they talk about school-related arrests at 17%, community 83%, um, 31% of the arrests in Sarasota are black, 60% white, 8% are Hispanic. It'll cover five-year trends, and it gives you all that interesting stuff. Again, this is from the Department of Justice. Um, so check it out. I'm going to put the link above here. I just thought it was interesting. I thought I would put it out there for the masses to review it and just... Get your thoughts on it. This has been Frankie Abrazino with The Scoop News.